Hi, I'm from Teach Me Anatomy, and in just over two minutes I'd like to talk about the borders, contents and clinical relevance of the axilla. So what is the axilla? The axilla is an anatomical area located at the junction of the upper limb and the thorax. It is the main pathway by which structures enter and leave the upper limb. It is pyramidal in shape, with four sides, a base and an apex. The medial border is formed by the rib cage and serratus anterior, and the lateral by the intertubecular sulcus of the humerus. The anterior and posterior borders are muscular. The anterior border consists of the pectoralis major and minor, and the posterior border consists of the subscapularis, teres major, and latissimus dorsi. The base of the axilla is formed by skin and fascia of the armpit, and the apex is formed by the convergence of the first rib, the scapula, and the clap. The axilla is the main pathway by which structures enter and leave the upper limb. The axillary artery, axillary vein, brachial plexus, and axillary lymph vessels all pass through the axilla. The tendons of the long head of the biceps brachii and the carafe brachialis also pass through the axilla, attaching to the humerus. The axilla is clinically important in breast disease, particularly malignancies. 75% of the lymph from the breast drains into the axillary lymph nodes. These can be biopsied if breast cancer is suspected. If breast cancer is confirmed, the lymph nodes can be removed to limit the spread of the cancer. This is a process known as axillary clearance. 